Hello everybody, my name is Rojo and welcome back Orders. to Battle Tech. I'm actually going to uh, reserve Decker here. We are uh, in the middle of trying to do this story mission and uh, get this uh, this big space ship, uh, space station I was going to say. It's sort of a space station I guess. Get it off the ground one way or the other. So reserve with you uh, just so everybody's going at the same time here. So I don't want to move him closer to the LRM turret, Receiving you. Uh, given that his leg is about to get blown off. Yeah. So, yes, plan number one, light LRM turret has got to go. Position confirmed. And I think Behemoth is just the one to do it. Yeah, 80% across the board. I think we got him. Excellent. Turret destroyed. Now that we don't have to worry about that, we uh we're actually in free mode right now. What can I do for you? So we can just uh shoot this, I guess. Or maybe it's just no longer a factor <laughs> at all. Ah, no, it's because I need to move first. So let's get this uh, the second radar tower taken care of here. I feel like we have plenty of ammo, so I'm not going to sweat that too much. We'll turn on a couple of those as well, though. Engaging target. There we go. Took it down. Target building destroyed. That's done it, Commander. The AA guns are down for now. Get to the crash site and secure the area. Okay. Next part of our objective is a go. Let's, um... Let's, uh, start... Sprinting, uh, people up here. Uh, yeah, so we gotta get in there, basically. Good to go. How do we get in there? I'm actually not sure. Is there a... A path, or do we have to blow it open? Let me get a little closer in here. Oh no, there we go. There's our there's our way in. Got it. Moving out. Okay, so we got to get all four people inside. And we'll sprint you up as well now. And then I think I might have these guys just hang out and wait for uh, for a hot sec. While uh, these guys sort of catch up here. Copy that. Alright, can I make it in? Uh, not quite. Not quite. So we'll just uh, do one of these, and uh, now we should be pretty much good to go here. Can't actually do a move though, so let's just sprint uh, everybody in here. On the move. All right, the crash site is secure. Sumire, you've got a clear approach uh, path to the derelict. Two steps ahead of UXO. Watch yourself, Commander. I'm coming in hot. Cool. So there's a, an idea how big the uh, the flipping Argo is. <laughs> Pretty damn big. All right, the package is delivered, XO. I'm taking the Leopard to a safe distance before the pirates can get their guns running again. All right, Roger that, Meyer. Dr. Murad, your team is clear to enter. I hear you, Mr. Oliveira. We're uh, making our way inside now. All right, people, you know what to do. Marines, clear the ship of pirates. With pleasure, Dr. Murad. All right, so 
A little bit of uh, a little bit of gunplay going on inside. I don't think that's something that we can help with. Uh, I suppose. Let's just uh, stay frosty here, yeah. Got it. Acknowledged. We'll keep you in the back. Location confirmed. As you break all their shit. <laughs> this is what I was afraid of. Dr. Murata, the pirates have Alpha Squad pinned down in the Argos main hallway. Bravo Squad, Bravo Squad is holding the door to engineering, but you better hurry up. Sergeant, talk to me. That doesn't sound good. Defend against the reinforcements. Where are they? I don't know. Reserve. Waiting for the right move. Time to earn oh, our money. Found them. So they got a commando. They've got a Jenner. They look like they're not fully armored, really. They've also got whatever that is. There's seven of them, though. There's a lot of that's a lot of mechs. All right, let's get a little better view of our situation here. Good to go. Waiting for orders. Decker, if I move you there, you'll have a shot. I guess it's better than nothing. We'll just get a get some eyes on, see what we're, we're working with here. Is so that's that is the Jenner. Um, I'm only going to shoot with one laser just to take a chevron off. I think it will. Let's see. Taking the shot. Yeah, big miss. But we did, uh, yeah, we did get the minus one evasion. And, uh, we still get to go, I guess, actually. Yeah, I guess we do. Well, I've got a nice view of that commando. If I move here, I'm going to be on rough terrain, which I don't love. But there's not really a lot of other places to go either if I want to get some uh, some evasion here. So I guess onto it we go. All right, so what do we got here? We got the Commando and a Locust. But this is somehow magically blocked and that's not, so... I guess we'll shoot the locust, whatever that's worth. Although he's got so many, so many chevrons, I don't even know if it's really worth it. Instead, why don't I just sensor lock? All right, I'll uh, I'll vigilance myself. Um, and then I'll uh, I'll do a sensor lock on the Jenner. And then hopefully we can just kill the Jenner right now. Ish. Do you have a couple vehicles in the back there? Waiting on you, Commander. Ah, uh, can I if I move you one more, yeah. On my way. Okay. So let's let's get a piece of this Jenner here. Take him out. Hopefully uh in one hit. We missed with the PPC, which breaks my heart. Commander. Um, as for you. Put you, uh, like right there. And then you too can go for the Jenner, except not with those. Well, we did something. I think I hit something <laughs> Dr. Murad, what's happening in there? Come in, Doctor. A little busy. The pirates are dead. But so are half of my engineers. 
It's an unholy mess in here. The bodies everywhere. What? Can you get the ship flying again? I need an update. Look, do you want me to talk or do you want me to fix the damn ship? You do your job, I'll do mine. Yeah, um, <laughs> it doesn't sound like things are going so hot in there. All right, so I'm going to move my ass a little bit here. And uh, I'm half tempted to vigilance myself once again, if I'm being honest with you. Or I could precision strike this guy. Let's go right for the center torso with everything I got. All weapons committed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> No sweat. Enemy mech destroyed. All right, so that's one less thorn in my side. This Jenner is going to retreat by the looks of things. Oh, it's going after me, is it? Warning. Armor low. Yeah, I was afraid our armor might be running out. Commander. Um, hmm. Interesting decisions. I guess we will move you there. On my way. Break all this shit on the way over. Because why wouldn't we? With our busted up leg. And uh, we'll just fire on the Jenner. We missed, but that's okay. I should have actually done it with both lasers, though, I think. I don't think I, I did. <laughs> uh, by the looks of things. And we got this locust. This locust is not going to be a problem, I don't think. All right, Behemoth. Let's uh, Good to go. see if you can take this guy out. It's looking very possible. Let's uh, let's go. I'm not gonna move her so that she gets her, uh, her, like, bulwark bonus. Ooh, miss with the AC, that sucks. Eh, I'm not still standing. That thing's a little better armor than I gave it credit for. Oh, ow. I hear ya. Um, hmm. Just trying to get a chevron here. I guess we'll go here. Got it. Start moving up so we can squish these vehicles, maybe. And, uh, yeah, you should be able to get this, uh, this Jenner for me. Got it. Uh, well, we got half of him. <laughs> At least. I don't know what a galleon has, I don't think, and I don't think I want to know. Hmm. We move. I don't want to move him any more this way, I don't think. But maybe, uh... We go here, supposedly we got a shot of some kind, by the looks of things. Another medium laser. Ah, uh, no, it is going to be blocked, but I'm still going to take it. Well, that's two injuries on that pilot. I don't even know what he could, what he's got for weapons left. Well, he's got a little bit. Taking a beating on my blackjack here. All right, let's uh, let's get myself the hell out of the way. <laughs> I think at this point.
Okay. Um, I'm gonna leave our morale right where it is, and uh, we're gonna shoot this generous some more. I'm not gonna unload everything on it though. Well, we got his leg and knocked him over, so that's something. Oh, that other guy was the Locust, not the Jenner. Yeah. Waiting for orders. Uh, can you melee? No, unfortunately you cannot. Uh, oh, d oh, did we get the pilot? On this guy, I think we we did. Standing by. I think we did. Hmm. What to do here, though? Is there anywhere we can go where I can get a piece of that selection of vehicles over there? Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's going to happen. So, uh, instead... Receiving you. Uh, it looks like you can just shoot him, so I guess we'll, uh... We'll just go for it. Still got plenty of AC-5 uh, ammo here. And, uh, we'll actually lose a little bit of heat. Or are we going to gain a little bit of heat or lose a little bit of heat? I'm not sure. There we go. No, no, no that's, that's losing heat. Okay. Um, we'll just shoot some SRM-2s at him. Acknowledged. Didn't hit with any. Can't say I'm uh, Negative damage. surprised. There we go. Now we can probably get some uh, some melee on that galleon. I'm liking how the damage is getting spread out between my my somewhat healthy I'm mechs here. Ah, uh, yeah, we're gonna go uh, gonna go right for this galleon here. It's gonna give us a chance to cool down because we're running pretty hot right now anyway. There we go. And we'll shoot the small laser. Because, uh, you know, insult to injury, etc. <laughs> uh oh, here we go, Grim Sibyl. You think you're gonna steal my ship, you miserable little scrub? Nobody steals from Grim Sibyl. I'm gonna carve you like a roasted pig. Oh, it's a big boy. Yeah, but it's in terrible condition. Concentrate your fire and you should be able to take it. Yeah, that is a pretty big mech, though. Decker, I need you to get out of the way <laughs> before you get yourself shot. That leg blown off. Ooh, guy got behind me, but he didn't attack me. Surprises me a little bit. Okay, Decker. You are going to melee this. So I lied about you getting in the way. Get in the way. Nice. Melee uh, ignores evasion, so, uh, and apparently also takes evasive charges off. Okay, how are we looking? I'm actually thinking everybody just gets to melee right about now. <laughs> Just laying into this poor little little teeny mech here. <laughs> I think we'll be able to knock all these guys down before uh, these other guys even get a shot on us. Oh, never mind. <laughs> they got LRMs. That doesn't really count, though. Not when, it, what can I do for you? Not when it's an LRM-5, at least. Um... Going for the scorpion here. Let's just get it out of the way. Okay, and now Behemoth. I don't know. Um. Yes, 
later. She actually isn't going to be able to get an angle to do a uh, an attack, so uh, I'm just going to leave her be and let her shoot. Uh, we will not use the LRM5s. Medium laser seems like a good idea. Um, AC5 is almost certainly not going to hit, so we'll uh, leave those be. Oh, we actually could do a precision strike. We'll save that, though. Got him. Tango down. Okay, so now we got the the bigger mechs coming after us. Decker, let's get you the hell out of the way. I think. <laughs> At this point, for sure. Maybe you can flank around. All right, um, yeah, just brace. Sounds pretty good. This guy comes around this way. That's actually great for us. Oh, can I jump on top of this? Engaging jump jets. Where am I going to blow it up? <laughs> no, I'm actually on top of it. Uh, that's pretty sweet. So they have a shadow hawk. It's a pretty tough mech. Uh, this is going to be like all my heat. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go for one of these legs here. All weapons committed. Didn't do as much as I thought it might, <laughs> if I'm being real with you. I hear ya. Move you like right there. And uh, we did hurt that leg. The structure's almost exposed, but I think we got bigger fish to fry here going after that quick draw. Let's see, morale is at. Can't tell. I think that's a 60. I think it's at 60% right now. Uh, we in a uh, small la laser range, I wonder? No, it doesn't doesn't uh, doesn't look like it. So instead, I suppose, yeah, I don't know. Do you go for the uh, the shadow hawk or the quick draw? Three medium, four medium lasers, and LRM ten. But this has an AC five. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep hammering on this guy a little bit. I think. Oh, actually, well, maybe not. Now that I look at this, because I, I don't really have much of a shot at him. <laughs> so. Oh, we did get a pretty good, uh, pretty good chunk of her there. So, Behemoth, um, move you over. And uh, let's see what you can do. All right, this is the shot that you got, so this is the shot that you will uh, take. All right, jump jet, jump jetting in, huh? Oh, ow! There's our first structure exposed. Can't take many more hits like that. Indeed. Yes, Commander. All right, I'm gonna have you uh, continue to uh, flank around. I think. Coordinates received. Hopefully the Shadow Hawk doesn't turn around and just absolutely wreck him. <laughs> that would suck. Um, but we're going to brace, so we should be pretty well defended here. Ah, uh, Glitch. Let's, let's get you moving. Something like uh, maybe that. And uh, we'll keep going for... The quick draw at this point. They're actually not managing their heat very well uh, as as uh, things are, uh, as far as I can tell. So 
They're, uh, they're suffering just as much as I am there. Oh, but we missed with the PPC, which hurts so much. Um, well... What do you do here? Good Vigilance. Morale's at 62%. Uh, that'll be the end of our uh, to hit bonus, but I think it's probably worth it for me to be able to stand still here and not worry about jump jetting off. All right, so let's go for, uh, we'll go for you. That's about the best we can hope for. Well, we crit one of the medium lasers. That's pretty good. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. All right, Behemoth, what have you got? Move you up like this. A couple chevrons looking pretty good. And uh, we'll just keep laying into her. Get rid of uh, the LRMs here. Keep everything else. Hit with the AC-5, which makes me uh, pretty happy, and she's unsteady now. Finally chewing through that, that frontal armor there. I think we might be about to get meleeed, though. I think he, uh, I think he missed. Ooh, but that sucks. Quick draw coming up. Could have been worse. Could have been way worse. <laughs> All right. Um. Ready for orders. I guess I'm gonna go myself again here. Uh, let's let's see here. Do we uh do have a very good shot? We might be better off. Actually shooting this guy this time. But not by much. Yeah, if we do any more, we're gonna we're gonna overheat. We could sensor lock instead. Yeah. Went for it. Did not turn out in my favor really. <laughs> not at all. But uh, Decker here should have a pretty good shot on uh, on Sybil. She'll help knock off some of those chevrons for me. Pretty good shot on the Shadowhawk as well, if I'm being uh, being honest here. But uh, we'll go for this. Firing all weapons. And we hit both times. Some of that was structure as well, which is really good. I think we're about to get meleeed here. Oh no. Interesting. Uh, dang it, that hurt. Well, there goes our uh our right arm. That sucks. Waiting for orders. Let's see. Now oh, that was our PPC arm too. That sucks. Uh, a lot more than uh, I initially thought. I'll tell you what. You've got the uh, the small laser, and you're already running hot. So uh, I think you should go for it. Go for uh, go for the melee attack. We'll chew through uh, all that structure eventually. And now she's unsteady as well. Good to go. So if we actually just move you like that, we should have a shot here on you. Gonna overheat a little bit though. Something like that. Man, that thing that thing does not want to go down, does it? Well, we can make this work to our uh, our advantage here, actually. 
Um, I'm going to have uh, Decker Reserve. About to get meleeed in the back, I think. I don't, maybe he's just not going to melee us. I don't know. Maybe he'd rather just shoot us at close range. But my plan to is indeed to melee this uh, this quick draw here once again to remove that buff. And there we go. There's a, there's the kind of hit we're looking for. So now, uh, now you're not guarded, which means I got a lot better chance to do some damage here. Yes, Commander. Uh, you're gonna have to move if, if you want to get any kind of a shot. So we move you like that. On my way. Might maybe should have even just meleeed with her too. But uh, too uh, too late for that. That's gonna bring us right up to the uh, the heat threshold, which is fine. Firing. All right, who's next? <laughs> Decker. You. Commander. I'm actually gonna leave you kind of back here a little bit, I think. <laughs> and uh, we'll just uh, just have you shoot from uh, where you're standing. Okay, last, last shot here. You know, what might be fun is if we uh, did a little, little death from above. Oh no, we don't have enough jump jet range. <laughs> That's too bad. But we could jump down there for what, whatever that's worth. However, we might not be able to shoot, which is part of the... Partially going to be a bit of a problem here. Do both AC2s. Engaging target. No. Yes! Nice! So now all we got to do is uh, kill this guy. Um. Oh, cool. We'll jump you... Uh, Jumping. Jump you right up there. Take a pot shot at this uh, this shadow hawk here. Got enough for uh, some uh, some aim shots too. Copy that. Here we go. Finally getting through that armor. Scored a critical hit. Not bad. Not bad. Minimal. Surprised that we uh, haven't gotten any structure damage on uh, on our blackjack yet. By. Waiting for orders. All right, we'll go ahead and melee uh, this guy. Right, Commander. Ugh. Okay. Now let's uh, let's see. Commander. I think, uh, with yours truly here, I'm going to precision strike, and uh, we'll go after this leg here, with, uh, I guess with that. Engaging target. Got to get a piece of it, but uh, not, not as much as we really, Receiving you. really would like. So I'm just gonna have you back up a bit. You can see uh see how hot we are right now, I guess. <laughs> That's the effect. So we'll take that off and uh, we'll go for it. I copy. Got him unsteady, so that's something. Standing by. Alright, Decker, I guess you may as well uh Shoot him again. I copy. Got a piece of his other leg now. <laughs> Commander. 
Uh, we might be able to knock him down with this. Got his arm. Oh, and the center torso. Nicely done. Alright, get your lance to the Argo, Commander. I'm just about done. Alright, I think I can do that. Waiting for orders. So she's actually already set. Orders. Sprint you up. Move. We'll uh, sprint you up. And down. Um, I guess we'll have to jump you down Confirmed. first. Close enough? It would appear not. Resting my mech. Aye, aye. How's that? There we go, it's done. I can't believe it, it really worked. The engines are online and I have thrust control. All right, go now, celebrate later. <laughs> Roger that, hang on, Commander. For the first time in two centuries, this beast is gonna fly. Mission successful. Hell yeah. Okay, everything is successful. Performance was exemplary. Commander Jojo. <laughs> I got a million bucks. We got uh, quite a bit of uh, repairs to do before we're ready to to, uh, to do anything else. And uh, a good amount of XP as well. Also, injured 20 days, injured 20 days. That sucks. We, uh, we might actually have to hire ourselves a new mech, a uh, mech warrior, to uh, fill the gap here. We have three salvage slots. We could make a Jenner right now. But uh, I'm not gonna. We'll take this quick draw. We'll take this Shadowhawk. If I had managed my morale better and saved it for more um, precision strikes for the last part of this, I guess maybe we could have gotten some more... Uh, salvage for these ones, which would have been nice, but uh, it's okay. And we might still get these anyway, but I want to make sure we get the other two. So, uh, yeah, I guess we'll take all those, and we actually already have one of these too, so... There's a chance we might uh, actually be in good shape here. Lower room 10s. Double checking the rest of this uh, loot, but there's not really much else... Uh, here that I'm too worried about, so let's go ahead and we'll confirm all of that. And we got some commando <laughs> salvage, not uh, generous salvage. All right. Um, we are actually, actually already did have some commando salvage too, I guess. But we got two LRM 10s, so that's cool. It's somewhat valuable. SRM 6. And uh, the rest of it's, you know, whatever. I don't know if I had an opportunity to edit that salvage agreement or not. I don't know that I did. Maybe I just wasn't uh, paying attention, though. I'm not really sure. Alrighty, you have done excellent work, Commander Jojo. <laughs> You've earned yourself an opportunity to do more. Meet your real client. I don't believe she needs an introduction. <laughs> Kamea Arano. I'm happy to see you again, Dice, or should I say Commander? 
You've done well for yourself. The old man would be pleased. Is anybody surprised by this turn of events? <laughs> I uh, certainly was not, but, uh, you know, your mileage may vary. It must come as a shock. <laughs> it's a shock to you seeing us here at Holloway. Seeing us at all. I apologize for that, but I had to be sure that you were the mech warrior I remembered before I reached out to you. And now with the Argo on its way to Lyrton for repairs, I know. You are everything I remember and more. Alright, well. I, uh... I can't believe you're here, actually. The entire Reach is convinced that, is convinced that you're dead. She was dead. Lord Madeira, too. I'm sorry, Lady Orano, but the news feeds ran footage of your dropship getting blown out of the sky on a loop for months. That wasn't her dropship. The broadcasts of her death were directorate propaganda. Well-crafted lies to keep the masses in line. And with that, Kimea, I'll leave you to your reunion. Best of luck with the negotiations, and keep me apprised of whatever decision you come to. Lady Centrella's face winks off the view screen. The dull blue glow of her hollow projection slowly dies away. Lady Centrella was right about the propaganda dice. My uncle's directorate is run on lies, though in this case, they very nearly became true. The direct directorate's assassins pursued us into the frontier in the months following the coup. Uh, in the months following the coup, we had more than our share of close calls. Eventually, they gave up looking for us. We've been living in exile ever since. Hmm. Alright, well, so where have you been hiding? Uh, as far as the Directorate Space, as far from Directorate Space as we could, um, let's try that again. As far from Directorate Space as we could uh, get without leaving uh, the frontier, miserable little ball of rock called Zathras. It was nasty. It was a nasty, brutish planet full of um, eternacine strife and bloody turmoil. I don't know what that word means. I don't think. <laughs> I'm going to have to look that one up. Uh, there were power struggles and mad nobles, plagues, and zealots, and holy wars. Uh, so you're saying it was a typical frontier world? More or less. Living on Cormadir, I heard stories about the problems that many frontier systems face, but I was detached. I never saw how rough life outside of the Oregon Coalition could get. Michael's coup changed everything, Dice. Including me. Okay. So, uh, why the Argo? As if I didn't have a pretty good idea. In part as a test of your abilities to make sure that your performance on Cormadira wasn't a fluke. Our, exper our experience in the coup has taught us to be careful, Commander Jojo. We couldn't just reach out to you on faith. But the Argo herself is important as well. She isn't just a ship dice. She's a symbol of reclamation and rebirth and the return of better days. You'll see for yourself soon enough. She was a majestic vessel once, true product of the Star League. Under Dr. Murad's care, she will be again. Alright, you found me. Let's talk about why. As if I didn't have some ideas. I imagine you've already guessed. So perceptive. I intend to seek justice for my uncle's crimes. I intend to take my throne back. But I can't do it without you. We have resources, an army drawn from all across the frontier. Perhaps most importantly, we have the patronage of Lady Centrella and the tacit support of her government. That means money. A great deal of money. Got the magistracy bankroll on you, eh? Unofficially, yes. Using Lady Centrella as an intermediary. The magistracy sees Kamea's claim to the throne as an asset worth paying for. These are the, uh... Magistracy, I believe, is the matriarchal society, so I guess that all fits. Uh, they want to see the directorate dealt with, but it isn't in their interest to do it themselves. They prefer to keep their own hands clean. The rumor periphery is a powder keg dice. Tensions between the Torian Concordant, the Federated Sons are high, and my uncle's military posturing could be viewed as a provocation by either side. 
And if open conflict between superpowers were to erupt, it'd be difficult for anyone to remain neutral. Magistracy wants to avoid uh, getting dragged into a major war. And your House Central is best hope for a clean solution. They fill your war chest, you remove the directorate from the board, and the magistracy lets tensions between the Federated Sons and Torians simmer down on their own. Am I reading that correctly? Correctly enough, Mr. Oliveira. But understand that this isn't just about defusing a dangerous situation. For me, taking on the Directorate is personal. My uncle betrayed me. The Founding Council has been reduced to a handful of powerless figureheads. Our very identity has been cut away and discarded. House Espinosa is long overdue for a reckoning, and with your help, I will bring them one. Join with me, Dice, and we will not fail. Well, we did. F we, f we failed that one time, if you remember that time three years ago when you uh, pretended to die. That didn't go so well for me or uh, Mastiff, as you recall. Or you, presumably. <laughs> uh, you know, though. Her cause does seem honorable, and if the price is right, I think we can help each other out. The price, of course, and dice. Let us discuss your compensation. Pledge yourselves to me, and I will buy your company's debts. All of them. You'll be free to travel and see clients as you please, so long as you come to me when I call for you. And on the day that I reclaim my throne, your obligation to me will be forgiven, and your debt wiped clean. Alrighty. Of course, you will also be paid for every battle you fight at our behest, at a rate that will feel quite generous given the clientele you've become accustomed to. Thanks to House and Trello, we've got money to burn. Must be nice. I don't like the thought of being some noble's pawn, but I don't like being an hawk to a bunch of loan sharks either. Sounds like a pretty good deal, boss. Just saying. Alright. All right, let's uh, let's make Papa proud. He's, even though he's not our dad, he would be. Uh, in truth, I feel he's smiling down on us even now. From where we're already in the heavens, aren't we? In theory, <laughs> I'll take my leave of you now. I have an army to rally and preparations to make, but it won't be long before I contact you again. And when I do, I'll need you ready. Prepare yourself and your company, Dice. Our war is about to begin. All right, Lady Arano just bought up all of our debt, Commander. That means no more banks restricting our jump ship access. We can travel to more systems now, but we should still steer clear of the major states. We don't want to look like we're going to cut and run. Good news, Commander. Once Doc Marauder and her crew got that wrecked ship safely away, they found most of a Centurion in its cargo hold. Cool. It's not equipped for combat yet, but with a little love and attention, I think I could return it to service. Swing by the mech bay to check, order a refit. That mech you asked for is cleared for fighting. Cool, so it's a sturdy and reliable mech. The Centurion is good at both taking and giving a beating. C9, uh, CN9A models are able to engage at any range. But the damage curve increases as they approach. Awesome, all right. So we are uh, still in the Leopard. I don't know if we uh, can go to the Argo uh, or not right about now, but uh, at any rate, <laughs> we've uh, got some work to do. Maybe we need to spend a little time in this hiring hall as well. So we are, uh, I don't even know where the hell we are. <laughs> We're in the middle of nowhere. We are out here. There's a travel contract not too far away that we could uh, perhaps go and get. But uh, we want to stay out of, uh, I guess, all of these colored areas and mostly hang out out here. But that'll be for next time. For now, I guess we can just be thankful that Lady uh, Arano is alive and uh, is in need of our services. <laughs>